Hey, my name's Joey Henderson. I'm with iConnect Training. We're here at the AHR Expo. Today, I wanna to show you some of our training units. This one here is our Heat Pump Residential TU701 trainer. One thing that I wanted to show you about this is we've got this really nice diagram here to walk through with the students to show them the flow of refrigerant through the system of a heat pump. We've got here a hermetic compressor. We've got an accumulator, which we've got our gauges installed already so they can actually see the operating pressures. We have a reversing valve, a liquid line filter dryer, and a sight glass. And then here we've actually got our capillary tubes for each coil with the check valve in place. Each coil up here, of course, we're gonna show them how we can reverse the flow of refrigerant through the system. And we've got the clear sight glasses so we can actually see the condition of the refrigerant as it flows through. Now, as an instructor myself, the way I wanna use this is I wanna first let the students get a good visual of all the four basic components of the refrigeration cycle. And we can actually reference it right back here on the training unit itself. Then we're gonna turn it on And immediately we'll start seeing the flow of refrigerant through the sight glass. This gives the student a perfect visual of the condition of the refrigerant in the system. We can even see it coming over here on our traditional sight glasses and they can see it starting to fill up. We've also got a drain pan over here to catch any condensate that may occur. And right now we're in the cooling mode. So you can come over here, we can feel the actual air as it changes temperatures. We've got the hot air being rejected off the condenser. And now we've also got the cold air being blown off of the evaporator coil. Now, once we do that, we can actually have, come over here and have the student actually check out this reversing valve. We can even check out the line temperatures across it. When I want to, I can ask them, what's gonna happen when we reverse flow through the system? I let them kind of guess, give me some good ideas and feedback and then we'll flip the switch. And immediately, they hear the reverse valve shift. They can actually see the transition of the refrigerant flowing through our tubes down here. And now they can feel the difference. Now this is the condenser and this is the evaporator. So what I like about this is seeing is believing. They can actually see everything change in real time. Now, as far as some training lessons that I like to do with these, is they can actually come in, they can check the voltages right here on the solenoid itself. There's no problem with that. You can also check all the line temperatures as they change. And what I like too is that they can go through the system and actually show the refrigerant cycle and they can explain it out loud. So here we're gonna go through it with them. We got the high pressure superheated gas coming right out of the compressor back here. As we go through the system, you can show how our single line going into the reversing valve is always hot gas discharge. And then coming out of the reversing valve, you can show them that the single line out of the three is always common suction pressure coming through the accumulator and back to the compressor itself. After that, you can show them that the outer two lines, one goes to one coil, one goes to the other. And right now, you could actually have them determine which one is which by feeling the temperatures on these lines. And then you can show them which one it is. They can also read the temperatures here. Another thing you can do too, if you wanted, is you can block the airflow coming off of these coils. You can put like a piece of paper in the back and slowly change the airflow and you can watch how it affects our pressures on our system. In addition to what we've given you already on our permanent gauges mounted, we've also given you access to the system as an instructor and with the students as well. We've given you a suction access port. We've also given you a discharge line access port. So you can actually get into this system and add more training to it as you desire. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. I always say that we start off with this, but your imagination is the only limitation what you can do to teach with this unit.